Okay, I don't want to fight this, this, this things. Ugh. They travel in herds. Yeah, so now I just need to go underneath. I failed you. I failed to birth you whole. But it won't be long now. I will soon be a mother. I will give you new life. I assure you. You will have life. Please, it isn't m I. He wants to be a mother. Well, you do you. Whatever makes you happy. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody. But if it hurts anybody, I'm gonna have to kill you. Ooh. A horned beast? I missed. <laughs> it's just a giant arrow just going through his head. Nice. And one more. Ah, oh, he moved. My one weakness. I. I don't know what he was aiming at the end there. Too much brain damage. Carrion Thrusting Shield. Oh, this is that weapon that I saw in a lot of thumbnails. People are saying it's OP. Silver Thrusting Shield embedded with glintstones. It enables a wielder to attack and guard simultaneously. Once wielded by R Rolana, the Twin Boon Knight, during a soul entry into ritual combat, a demonstration of fidelity to the archery. Shield Strike. A skill that uses a shield to attack. Repeated inputs allow for up to three follow-up attacks. <laughs> it's so lame. Ah, I don't know if I want to use it. Looks kind of goofy, honestly. Oh, what the heck? There we go. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> What's up, scholars? You guys chill? Doesn't look like it. You're stuck to your book, my guy. Uh oh. Uh... And wow. <laughs> That's a very strong Ash of War. I mean, it takes a while to actually use. You need to charge it up a lot. Oh, 
Oh, there's more. This place is big. I guess I can jump down. Hold on. What's outside? Shadow Sunflower. Nice, another one. Perfect. Oh, I'm going up. Is there more up, or is this... Mm. Well, it's looking at me, but... You have to come down. Ah, he's freaking out! Put you out of your misery! Ah. Okay. Where to now? Okay, this is just the other side. That's what it is. Wrath of Mofar. Ow! Damn it. Screw this. I am punching everybody. Everybody's getting punched. Well, kicked. Ah, oh, damn it. Yo, damaged me. Ow. Eh, that doesn't do much damage. And I can jump it? Man, that's a, that was annoying. <laughs> Have I been down there? I mean, I pro obviously not, because I've missed a lot of places. Since I took the back entrance, I feel like... There's a lot of ways... Damn it. There's a lot of ways I can go. I can either go... I don't know if I'm making progress, I'm like going forward, or I'm working my way back to the beginning from the main entrance. Oh, where am I going now? Cool. Have mercy for the spirited away shamans. Um, well, I don't know, that's a clue, but oh, wait, I didn't actually do it. I didn't do anything. Oh, there we go.
I don't know where I'm going. Scud of you. That's some of my friends, just in case. This place does look pretty, though. Am I gonna get ambushed by something? Hold on. Let's just check out the giant hole in the middle. Nothing. Okay. Let's proceed. This guy. The tree sentinel again? I didn't I haven't seen you since the literal beginning. So be treaded in your gigantic golden shield for a torch. And you're dead. Oh, that was it! Oh, is that another one over there? Blessing America. Wait, why did this appear? Ah, uh, well, whatever. Oh, here's the actual tree sentinel that I fought before. Let's put the Claw Talisman on. Reach. Did. Ow. Yeah. I didn't forget your move set. Easy. I remember him quite well. When I first started started Elden Ring and I saw a tree sentinel, I stubbornly stubborn as a mule just kept fighting him over and over him until I finally killed him. Right in the beginning. Had no idea how to play this game. I was just astrologer. I used to have my magic super quickly, but I eventually got him, so there's no way I would lose to this guy. Okay, now where am I? Hinterland Bridge. I'm glad all I had to do was just do that gesture and then I don't have to wear some kind of armor or helmets for that thing to activate. Because I still remember that stupid tower where I had to use that gesture, uh, irradiation gesture and have a that scholar's helmets, that stone head thing. I don't think I've ever would have figured that out on my own. Okay. Let's get on Torin. Oh. Looks like there's another way get, to get down here. Maybe. So, I'm guessing this is where the shamans come from? The one that's... Wait. Oh, these are the weird 
finger creeps. You know what I was saying? Um. I can't talk to them. I'm a well, I'm a little bee. Yeah, and Bonnie Village, I believe it's called. It says that they threw shamans in into the the warrior jars because they're great as materials. Another fallen star beast here, huh? Oh, right. Is it an onyx warrior? No, it is a beast. I took way too much damage from this guy. He's not even hard. Gravitational missile. Oh, that's that sounds cool. Okay, let's go to where this weird fingers lead to. Anyway, what were we saying? Oh, the shamans. Yeah, apparently they're good material for warrior jars. Or the inside of the jars, anyway. So they would be forced, like chopped up, and used as jar innards. Okay, I don't know if I can these things. Ugh. They travel in herds. Huh. Was well, a trap there? Am I gonna get poisoned? It was very pretty up there. Now look at this. There's just smog. Or even am I? Okay. That was weird <laughs> and unnecessary. Oh, there's a difference. Oh! What the hell? Okay, I don't want to waste my time fighting these guys. Come on! Some of the homing missiles! Are you kidding me? This is insane. They go so far. Are these the guys that taught Radon how to aim with his bow? Let's go ahead and sound the bell. What am I getting? Cerulean Sea Talisman plus one. Cool. Okay, I just after seeing the other finger ruins, this isn't really all that big of a deal. They are a lot more threatening, or at least those two with that heat seeking orbital strikes. But other than that, it isn't all that interesting here. Oh, oh, I'm here!
I didn't realize this. I made it here now. I went far. <laughs> That's what the fallen beast was. Okay, let's just look around a little bit. I'm gonna go talk to Yamir because this finger ruins all about him, and then we'll continue with the black keep, shadow keep. All right, let's just talk to this guy real quick, and then we'll return to the shadow keep. What's up? I told you one. I've no interest in companions. Oh, come on. But I must admit, Count Emir did seem very pleased. Perhaps an exception is in order. Hell yeah. Emir is a shining star in our eyes. The only star upon the black canvas of the night. Our meeting with the Count taught us of the star-draped sky. We know that we cannot reach out to touch it, but we can peer up at its brilliance and heed its guidance. We will never again lose our way in the night. I have spoken far too freely. <laughs> Pay me no mind. Let us focus on our shared purpose, our service to Count Emir. Now, be on your way. Well, she's nicer now. But what exactly am I doing? What's our service exactly? <laughs> What's our purpose? I heard another sound, colored by your essence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Simply exhilarating, I must say. You sound a little bit evil there. Tonight. But rest assured, this is no ill omen. On the contrary, I believe that this portends a magnificent starry cascade. Now, take this. My final gift to you. Let it be May good. You join the glimmering stars above. Oh. Oh yes. I believe I can feel it brewing. This evening is a sign of a greater night to come. Oh, what is it? fleeting microcosm? Conjures a microcosm. Microcosm. That pulses with a single wave disappearing in a burst. A finger sorcery of Count Ymir, High Priest, one of the secret hallowed rites. Conjures an image of a macrocosm at a foe's feet that pulses with a single wave before disappearing in a burst. Charging enhances potency. The broken and discarded are fully willing to cling to fleeting simulacra, earning them some mediacum. Medicum? Medicum of sympathy. Do you recall what I said? The kind of and the fingers yeah. that guided her were unsound from the start. Yes. Well, the truth lies deeper still. It is their mother who is damaged and unhinged. Their mother? The fingers are but unripe children. Gross. Victims in their own right. We all need a mother, do we not? A new mother. A true mother. Who will not give birth to further malady. May you join the glimmering stars above. This guy is getting kind of unhinged. <laughs> Got anything else to say? No. Alright. Okay, just like last time. I'm gonna rest until it's night and see if anything changes. Wait, so... That last ruins thing I got. Oh, it was the one I found last time. No. Yeah, so now I just need to go underneath. I failed you. Failed to birth you whole. But it won't be long now. I will soon be a mother. I will give you new life. I assure you. You will have life. Please. It isn't m I He wants to be a mother. Well, you do you. Whatever makes you happy. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody. But if it hurts anybody, I'm gonna have to kill you.
All right, let's go down here. I know I said I want to do the shadow key, but I want to see I want to see the, how this ends. I found this more interesting than the shadow keep. Finger ruins of mirror. Meyer. 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 Ah, last one. Uh oh. What is this? Oh my goodness. Mother of fingers? Ugh! Ow! My face! Oh, you're squishy. You're s Oh, but you hit hard! And you hit fast. She's like a spider. She's way worse than other, those other things. Wait, something's happening. Macrochasm. Ow. Huh. So, let's just gonna stay up there. <laughs> oh, I guess this is a second phase then. Makes sense. Ow, ow. That's fine. I wasn't really. I wasn't trying to kill her right away. I want to fight her. I want to fight her one on one. Okay, let's do this for real this time. This reminds me a lot of the other beast. Ow! Now that she looks like it. But just like overall feeling. Ow! Was that Death Blight? Or Worms? Why did she have actual hands? Oops. Ow. Oh, wait a minute. Is she not spewing out worms? Or is she spewing out fingers? I don't know if that's worse or not. Oh, yeah, those are fingers. Ugh! That was truly disturbing. How? Ah, 
I hate this. Oh, I missed. Messed up. Having friends really does make this so much easier. I almost killed her the first time. Okay. <laughs> Ow! I think I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> well, if she's gonna summon, should I summon as well? Honestly, she's not that difficult. I just gotta learn how to dodge a little bit better. Oh, this is three times. That's I'm not exactly sure how to avoid. I guess my best bet is just run away. Ow. Gosh, he's so ugly. Ah. Okay. I just got two more in me. Yeah. Goodness. That is crazy bananas. Okay. Ah. Oh. That was very close. Okay, I, I completely forgot. I have a bow for a reason. So whenever I just cannot get close, or the power amp or anything, I can just unload with these. Damn it! I'm not gonna lie, I panicked. I pushed all the wrong buttons. <laughs> yeah, but she's 100% super weak to arrows. Or bleed. Because I hit her with a bunk, like a good amount of uh, blood bone arrows as well. It's probably the blood. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I said it multiple times, but honestly, she's not that tough. Well, I'm gonna die. She's not that hard. She's not that hard. I can take her. I can take her. I'm able to do a good amount of damage to her. She doesn't one shot me. She doesn't even two shot me. She needs to hit me like three times to actually kill me from her full health. The problem is she she hits a lot. And have trouble avoiding some of her attacks. Ah.
Hit. Ah. Come on. I still haven't been able to fully dodge that. Oh, she's almost dead. Ah, oh, whatever. Remembrance of the Mother of Fingers. Yeah, she's very weak to bleed. When she exploded in blood, it took a gigantic chunk of her health. I mean, I want her to beat her for martial arts, but... A few times, she would just fly up into the sky. What am I supposed to do? Where even am I? Oh, I'm not... Am I underground? God, this is so weird. Oh, I guess I go, should go tell him that I killed her. So what am I going to get from the Remembrance? Some kind of spell, so I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, she's gone. A oh, feeling that they're gonna end up invading me. Strap gone? What have you done? You've yep. wounded Count Emir most irreparably, such that he wishes for your death, and I must attend to the Count's concerns. Man, I thought we were friends. Man, you have no poise either. Okay, there's a freaking pew in my way. And you're done. Man, okay. Oh. There we go. My dear star, a fine mother. You will be. My shining star. Grant me a mother's strength. Look here. Oh, it's not over yet. My fingers. I will be the true mother. And I will be the only mother. I. Well. Oh. 
Sorry, not gonna let you do jack. Ugh! Finger sorcery! There you go. Truly, I desire to be your mother. Give me your spell bearing, maternal staff, high priest hats, robe, gloves, undergarments. Well, well, what did you expect to happen? You sent me to a monster to fight. Maybe I should have gone back and told him, like, hey, there's a monster. Is that it? I truly did not know what this priest wanted to do at the end. Okay, yeah, there she is. I could be my friend now. Count Emir, the stars, the sky. I see them not. Uh, I guess. Here, take this. No light. Anywhere at all. This is the night I know. Our night. Well, you know what? Actually, what does that even do? What, do, what am I doing to them? Am I taking their souls or something? Oh. There's something here now. What is this? Cherished fingers. An incantation. Ah, uh, That's a thing he used, isn't it? I wonder. How was he able to, to just summon those fingers out of his body? Where did he learn that exactly? Alright, let's continue. <laughs> I kind of took a huge detour there.